Do you like walks? Yeah. I'm eating corn. I'm being watched. They're all like, what are you doing here? Let's put Rowan in that. If you smell like a dead animal, I'm gonna freak out. Um, I'm doing 75 hard. So this involves two 45 minute workouts. One of them has to be outside. So since it is so nice out today, like it's like 70s. It's great. We came here to last week and it was hot and humid. Um, I am walking to the farm. So here's some of our corn. This is NKO243, 102 day corn. It is probably about a week away from tasseling. I counted leaves the other day. Located really, really, really good. Um, these are some soybeans over here. These are the NK20 B6 E3S. This is right by my house. This is our worst wheat. Worst field. I had some emergence issues, placement issues, and then the weeds took over. But it's finally looking much better. So, good news on that front. The corn is way taller than me. <laughs> Look, I think I know what that barn is. So, this is our corn. So here's obviously Andros. Um, I'll walk in down here more, but it's definitely like a foot taller than me. So she's doing pretty good. The roots are looking good. They're just starting to poke up more above the ground. Um, but the dry cave does have the underground prevention treatment stuff of the rootworm thing. So hopefully we'll be good. I will count the leaves, see how many more we got before this will tassel. This will probably be the last thing to tassel, I would say. It's getting some really good stock, so hopefully we can handle the wind and everything that comes with summer storms. But we got stuff going on, so it's planting roots. It's planting all the goods right now. You can see just starting to come out. But yeah, she's pretty tall. Put this thing around for another 90 day variety of plant later. She's, she's got some height. So here's all of the uh, hay that we built. <laughs> Uh, from the ditches. There's more there. And then we have some alfalfa as well. I don't think any of this is alfalfa. I think this is all grass. But the alfalfa, there's some up front. Yeah, that's grass, hey? Corn stalks, corn stalks. All the alfalfa must be up front. Alfalfa is these ones right here. And the corn stalks are on the end, but it's up there. So we got our second cutting done. But here you can see, you can tell where all the Rainwater comes off and sits because the corn's a little bit smaller here. All right, there. I'm taller there, but here's where they changed varieties. All right, so this is a line of corn. <laughs> There's corns. You can see the little fence line here. Um, so this is NK0748 on this side, and then this is the NK9991. 107 day corn, this is what we will likely chop. This is the corn and corn 9991. So there's eight day difference between the two of them. But really, I mean, the 0748 is quite a bit taller um, where they have the really tall plants, but I'll flip this around, I'm gonna I'm eating corn. <laughs> She's definitely knee high by the 4th of July. Granted, it's July 5th, but. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a good time. I'm going to pull one of these out um, and figure out how far we are from castling once. So, like, this is the end <laughs> See what this looks like once. I picked it from the last thing and I had another one come out. So you find the last set of leaves and then you pull up, which I got two of them. But so this is technically the last. So then you unroll to see how many leaves there are. So there's one. Two, three, and then the really little one. So there's the tassel. So it's about probably a week out or so from tasseling. Um, that's what the other field was, the 0243 as well. Um, but there's your tassels, so it's getting ready, it's gearing up. But I would say in a week we'll probably have tassel shooting up in certain spots. Give it 10 days and we'll have full tassel everywhere. So, looking pretty good. Um, the 991, I can do that one too, but I'm just gonna guess it's probably five to seven days behind. It is a shorter day variety, but it was planted later, so I guess I'll just go grab one.
Nest, come out of the corn. All right, so as you can see, once again, this is an extra leave that I got, so. We got one, two, three, four, five. So this one is just, like I said, a little bit behind, but you're not. So I would say probably in two weeks we'll have thousands popping out here. Maybe sooner, depending, but usually they say average is like three days per leaf. So we're in section poured. We gotta pour this yet. Put boards together, get ready to pour it. Maybe this week, otherwise the next for the creep pens for the calves to get outside. So that'll be in a separate video, but it'd be good to get the calves out and about so the calves can have more space, but also the calves can get away from mom and be independent. Nathan's here. Um, his vehicle is looking decent out of the under engine fuel filter. So much. Beautiful. You have another shirt here? No. Oh, uh, yeah, I do in the pickup, actually. Gross. Last time I did this, Denise gave me a ride home in the back for a pickup. I was so full. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, have a change of clothes with you. Crawl. At least a pair of shorts. Be limber. <laughs> the garden is coming along very nicely, so there's sweet corn, pumpkins, cantaloupe, watermelon, little pumpkins, tomatoes, green beans, onions, sweet potatoes, zucchini of course, beets, peas, all the things. And there's a little new fainter girls we're keeping back, they're not, I mean, they're born here, but that's Jitters. She was oxygen deprived when she was a baby, so she's a little special. What are you doing? So these are the girls we're keeping. Besides the one peeing right now, just for sale. The rest of them, well, they'll join the herd. What are you doing? Are you just so comfy? You're so What's up, Dish? You're so cute. There's a lady in your pen. Yeah, she's tame. She's a bottle baby. And then we got some boys over there. And more in the hoop barn. Good golly, you guys are loud today. Just chicken eggs. Goodness gracious. 18 eggs. Dang. It's a good day. What's up? Just chilling with all my goat friends. Well, mom in here to spray weeds, and now I'm just waiting to let her back out. What's up? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> It's almost breeding season again. <laughs> Next month. Hey, Clover. Oh, Lucy. Oh, someone else is chasing them. There, blue. Oh, girls. We are gearing up for round two. So this is how it turned out. Support it good. Getting ready for the rest of it. It should be going down, but... I got some boards put up. Dad's gonna dig a little bit more gravel out tomorrow. Um, we're gone though, so he doesn't need her. He just needs us for the help right now. And then I'm going to open the gates over here so he can go bed the cows in the barn. And once again, it's like two pens that are wet, so he'll split two bales for the entire barn. So essentially, though, you should get in a third for each pen. Um, and then he'll just bed a little bit heavier in the two wet pens and not as much in the ones that are pretty dang dry, but they are learning to spread out a little bit. So, but it is nicer today, so. And we scraped this yesterday, so you can see it's pretty dry for the most part. But he'll drive along here, bed, and they're pretty much done for the day, I think. So, we're gonna finish bedding. Until next time, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, make sure you let me know, and I hope you subscribe and come back more often.